Hello, welcome back to. Hey, is this game louder than normal? Ratropolis. I'm turning down just a touch. That feels better. It's like if it's loud, you know what's gonna happen as soon as a bad uh, event roll stacks fifteen thousand plague rats up on a wall. It's gonna, it's gonna, it's, it's gonna be bad. It's gonna, it's gonna be. It is going to be very loud. Hey, how you, how you doing? How's it going? What is happening? It is Saturday. It means it is Sunday for yourself. Ah, we're on the coast. We're playing uh, Merchant Leader Plus today. Last run was Navigator, if you remember correctly. I hope you're doing well today. Thanks for tuning in. How am I doing today? Oh, you know. So, you know, I've been talking about a, a little bit in these recent episodes. Slay the Virus, right? Slay the Spire Charity event. I know you're probably, you're wondering, hey, how did it go? How, how did it go? How, how did it go? I'll ask, I'll ask three times for emphasis, how did it go? The answer is gonna shock you. It shocked me as well. I, uh... So, midnight rolls around, I've been getting ready, right? Getting ready, getting ready. 11.30, I'm like, alright, I better make sure everything's set up properly, change my title, get all the links set up so, like, if people want to know about the charity, they can check it out, the resources are there, etc, etc. Sit down, start streaming, have a good time, a few, uh, a few donations come in, you know, we got, I think we made, like, $55 in the first 15 minutes, two people dropped a 25, and someone dropped a 5, uh, I, just, I did my first drawing, of uh, a re first drawing request because one of the incentives was donate five bucks and I'll draw you something live on air and it was good it was fun and then after 15 minutes my power went out because we were in the middle of one of the worst storms of the season so far and it didn't come back until 5 30 and that was it that was at the end except not really because I uh, am just gonna do it tonight now instead but while I was offline, a few people took over. Cranberry and Inu streamed, if you watch there, two of my mods, two of my friends. And they streamed it, and we ended up, through some generous donations, hitting the goal, even though I wasn't uh, able, I didn't have power. So that was cool. I, I'm pretty happy about that. And so I would say it was a success, but I'm going to still, you know, try to stream it tonight. My power went out in the middle of recording Monster Train before this as well, by the way. The streak may come to a close here because my power goes out. This game is still too loud. I I can tell. I Oh, it's like, it's like too, too high. This... This is the correct volume. And I know what you're thinking. I know what you're thinking, right? Because I know this. I've listened to it. I've listened to the game. Oh, it's not that loud. Trust me. Trust me. God, these guards just need to target. Like, imagine if they would just target this fucking guy. And not all miss their shots. We wouldn't take any losses there. It's okay. It's okay. Oh, a Fletcher House. This is a really good building, I think. Like, an early pickup of this. It's really sweet. I can now use my hero ability like defensively instead of just using it for money but yeah it seems to be like so far i checked the numbers when i woke up for what we've raised in the first play was it? it was like 12 hours when i checked it, it made like six grand or not six grand i think was it three grand something like that three thousand dollars for charity pretty cool there's a uh if you want to know more about the charity, there's a I've, I've linked resources in my discord and there's a resource link in the uh the stream it's a it's a command that night bottle handle for you so it's a cool charity it's like providing medical supplies to medical workers and things like that it's cool i can dig it for sure other than that what's new ah not much what did i do for five hours while my power was out so for the first hour of it i'm really surprised that i was able to actually sleep until noon uh, basically i for the first hour i just like looked at stuff on my phone looked at reddit looked at tiktok 
And then my phone died, because I have a horrible habit of not charging my phone for whatever reason. It was at like 20% when the power went out. And so I just kind of laid there, and... Yeah, like, I'm pretty sure I just fell asleep at 1 o'clock, and then... I, no, it was, probably, it was probably more like 2 o'clock that I fell asleep, and then went... I mean, because what else am I going to do? I, I'm just going to sit there in the dark doing nothing. Nah, I just fell asleep. And then... Yeah, that's pretty much it. I heard the power come back on because I heard my fan turn back on at like 1 in the morning, or 5 a.m. ish. Got out of bed to see what time it was, and then went back to bed because I was like, ah, hell, it's 5 a.m. That was that. It was, a uh, you know... It was a little unfortunate, the timing, but it is what it is, you know. What can you do? And the answer is nothing. I can do nothing about that. I think we're just gonna run. We'll only lose one guard for that. That's passable. Taking a big loss of guards there does not feel like it's worth it. Especially when I can prevent it by just taking that step back. And I'm not going... What The, the big reason to take that step back is because I'm going to be able to leader ability here. Drop a Fletcher as well. And we can just kill all of these enemies with arrows. And I won't have to lose anything. If I if I didn't have a way to stop these guys from... Like, if they were just going to walk up here at the same amount of health, there was no reason to step back. But stepping back there saves some units. And overall seems to be the right way to go about it. Territory expansion, treasure hunter, library. I can't really afford either of these. Like, I cannot afford this. I cannot afford this. I'll just take treasure hunter. I'm trying to get enough guards built up that these uh, spitters don't become a problem. And we're good on this side. Like, the, the left side is solid. The right side is where I need to be focusing my attention right now. But yeah, not much else new today. As usual, chilling. Saturday afternoon, gonna finish up my recording. Despite having gone to bed so unusually early for myself last night, I am gonna look for money here. That house is fine. I stopped it somewhere around there. Either way, it's an okay outcome. I uh, like it's still 3 p.m. I I did lose like 30 minutes out of my day because my power went out in the middle of the monster train recording and just corrupted the recording. So it was like, oh, and there goes like there goes the first 30 minutes of my day. Whoops. Presumably they're just uh, you know, finishing whatever patch repair they did to get the power back on at five in the morning. Which, you know, I was thinking about it, right? Because it's easy to be like, God, there should be some way to stop this from happening. And, I mean, that's what I said in the Monster Train video when I turned my... When the, when the power got turned back on. It was only out for, like, five minutes. But, you know. It feels like there's got to be a better way to go about it so that, you know, we don't lose power from a storm hitting a telephone... Or a, a power pole. But, you know, I'm not in the power industry. I don't have big power in the, my back pocket. I don't know how it works. I gotta say though, it's gotta really suck being like, having to go out at 5 a.m. in the middle of a horrible storm and try to fix the power. Right, like I, it's a job that I am glad that I don't do and I respect like, yo, hell yeah, dude. If you're the dude who got my power back on last night, fuck yeah, bud. Thanks for your hard work. Five hours isn't so bad, all things considered. But it was it was a nuts storm. It was like I saw I could look outside and it was like it was daytime because of how much lightning was striking. It was so it was so crazy. But yeah, we get to uh get to try it again tonight. Seems like there's no storm today. Everything's looking nice and clear. So that's good at least. When I saw when I saw the weather, it started to rain a little bit, like eleven o'clock ish. I was like, "Oh my god, my power is gonna go out right as I start streaming, isn't it?" And then my power went out right as I started streaming, and I went, "Ah, <laughs> it is comedic and also very sad." I'm trying to not get crushed by this spitter. Uh. 
Oh, they get their first. They like they get the shot off. It's not it's not doomed. It's just sad. But yeah, that was my yesterday. I didn't do much else yesterday. You can imagine. I went and got some food with my friend. That was nice, but you know. Not a whole lot of options right now considering we're in the middle of a pandemic. Although my area does seem to be a little less hard hit by the pandemic than uh, other places like uh, even other places in the state right it seems like we're pretty low on cases overall i haven't heard anyone around here getting them every time i check it's like there's very very few one of the benefits of living in country hicksville no one comes here so there's no way for that to spread eventually it'll reach us i'm sure and we'll have a big doomed outbreak but so far we've been okay and i'm glad for that I'm still, of course, I'm still being, like, cautious when I go out wearing masks and all of that, but it doesn't seem like it's that bad out here. You do what you can. The, whole, the rest of the world's moving on from uh, staying inside. And, and also, like, the rest of the people in our country is our, I guess, is our, you know, you get me. It's just, it's a very strange time. I don't know how many times, how many times do you think I've said those exact words in that exact order uh, in that context on this broadcast? The answer is very high because it's a strange time and that's all you can really say about it, right? It's just that it's kind of, feels, feels very weird right now. Everything feels very strange, but it is what it is. You can't do anything about it. We do our best and that's all we can do. Don't be barrels. Hey, it's the, it's the, it's the seashell boy. Very nice. Not really much else to say, though. Not, like, not much to do. I... I don't know. I feel, I've been feeling a little, feeling a little odd lately. I don't know how to describe it, just kind of strange. At least the storms are dying down, it looks like. It's the first time it's rained here in a hot minute, though. Talk about the weather for a second. It hasn't been raining, like, at all, right? I think I mentioned we were in the middle of a big drought, so it was about time for some rain. And we got... We got, we got slammed. Like, it was a lot of rain. Was, a lot of rain, a lot of lightning. I haven't had to live through a tornado yet. However, last night I had that moment of like, is it, is there gonna be, is this, is this bad enough? Is this weather bad enough to be a, uh, could this be it? We've had a few like warnings, but never anything actually touching down. I think something touched down like two or three roads away from me is the farthest or the closest I've ever come to living through a tornado. Not too, it's like probably like, five miles away from me or something like that. And I didn't even know until I drove by there and like saw a bunch of trees torn down and shit like that. It wasn't a bad one either. It was, uh, you know, sucks if you were those trees, I guess. But thankfully for me, I've been, I've worked very hard on this. I am not a tree, as it turns out. I'm actually not a tree. Surprising, I know. But it is the case. I really need some, like, I really need tax. This is the big thing. I cannot take colony, unfortunately. I do not have the population. I need tax to make these golden arrows do enough. But I have not really gotten the opportunity to do so. i offered Brotherhood so many times. Could take Brotherhood honey drink. Kind of awkward, though. I don't know. It's just, it's, it's a little awkward, because I don't have the population, really. If I could, so if I can play these cards, what is it, it'd be like every 20 seconds? If I do enough removing? It could work. I feel like I've done this in the past, though, where you just, like, take a service card and then you take a honey drink and it just goes awry very quickly. I don't feel super, super confident in it, I guess is the problem. I feel like 
okay about it, right? It just, it doesn't feel great, but the thing is my laborers are not building up at a very high speed. I guess I should be trying to get like the, the laborer, the, the labor infinite, right? Where we just livestock gather plus a ton. It's been a while since I played Merchant Leader Plus. Uh... I think I'll pass it. I'm just gonna pass it. I'm gonna be greedy. I'm gonna look for something better. What's better? Oh, you know. <laughs> Overseer. Basically. I just- I feel- I feel uncomfortable with taking that right now. I don't have the population, so it's dead cards. It's just kind of awkward. This duel has been building up a lot of money for us. Remove a card. Okay. Potter can go. And we'll see where we end up. Apart? This is exactly the sort of thing I'm looking for. Tax? Population? What more could you want? Tax office? What are you talking about? I wouldn't want tax office here. Tax office sounds terrible here. Jewel's doing really well, though. I will maybe upgrade it. Oh, floods. Gross. Gross, gross. Okay. I'll maybe upgrade the jewel, because if you upgrade it, it resets its cost. Or it's like, it resets the number on it, I believe. So it goes back to three. It'll go up to 300, I believe. We'll have to see. I mean, I'll check it to be sure. But I'm pretty sure that is how it works. 15 tax is almost enough. If we get enough tax, we could just turn this into an all gold narrow run, which is fun. That's one of the cards I would need to get enough tax. What, what else is here? Removal? Give me this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know it doesn't, I don't think it can solo carry, but with our tax being a baseline that is reasonable. Not yet reasonable, but soon will be reasonable. I could see it. Is it what is it? It's worth like seven right now? Yeah, it's, I guess it's what he, they round up in this game, it looks like. Some, you know, a minor fact that I never knew. They round up in this game. Who knew? Been holding these golden arrows to launch them, but I really shouldn't have. It'd be cool, I think I can kill the cannon, right? Or oh, are they out of range? They're out of range. It's the afternoon, so I can't really see too well either right now. The darkness is very dark. I just, I don't know if you can... Uh, draw quickly enough with raise tax at 50%. I think that fr from a baseline of 15 it's hard to do anyway. If we can get our tax numbers up a little more we can maybe see it. Right, but at, at this baseline it's it's hard to see it ever working out. If I upgrade it maybe? No, never mind. I don't think I'm going to be upgrading it. I've made a decision to not upgrade it. It's my decision though. The game didn't choose that for me. We can take territory expansion for more taxes. We'll see if we can get there, maybe. And raise tax will apply any- like, adding those buildings in at a specific timing doesn't matter. Overseer! Oh, hey. <laughs> Alright, cool. Uh, I think- I think that's, uh, alright. Pack it in. You guys can- you guys can go now. Nice. Alright. Barrels are often a concern. Here they come, we'll see how it goes. Eh, hey, my unit's turn to fight him? Not so bad. So, our plan shifts into Overseer territory now, of course. Into Overseer Drive. Over Drive Seer. <laughs> you know, our plan has shifted. I should grab this restaurant, though. I just need to upgrade, uh, gather, and I need to remove, like, two cards, right? And then we can just plant out a bunch of overseers and slam livestock gather repeatedly. The jewel can go. I think we need to be at seven cards, which is what we are currently at. We need two upgrades, but the upgrade on overseer is not so... It, do it doubles the output, right? But more important is just upgrading Gather so that I can play everything. Even a plus two is pretty good. Him giving a plus two, he gives the same as Bannerat, which is, you know, Bannerat's a good unit. Hot take. 
There's a Ratropolis hot take, Banner Rat, good. Overseer, also pretty good. Just kind of waiting for the, uh, oh, there's more units, huh? Waiting for the answer to arrive. The raise tax isn't doing so well here. Let's try, let's see what happens if I try to spam it. Can it work? Let's find out. 39, what does it get up to? 58, no, it never gets there. With, without a collect, it never gets to a good point from this position. Uh, who can go from this deck? I think Fletcher can go from this deck at this point. Down to six cards. With Gather is a good number to be at. Yeah, Brace Taxi basically just need Collect or Lottery now, it feels like. Or Leader Plus. That's alright. Need to keep livestock rolling and it's okay. I'm not gonna put down too many overseers. I wanna try and leave the population free, because any overseers I put down are forever. Boys, you gotta you gotta turn around. Oh my god, look at this! Oh my god, why did I just watch? This like why are Weasel Barrels such a problem? Let me tell you. It's not because of their like their mechanics are not the issue. The fact that they drop behind you should not be a problem, and yet... Oh... Sometimes I'm forced to just watch all of my guards sit there going, Hmm... Is something shooting me? I can't tell. That is like, oh, 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 holy shit, the Brotherhoods. What the hell? They actually just won't leave me alone. This is like the seventh time I've been offered this card. I will not take it. I, I... At this point, I could take it, right? Except I can't because I don't have a way to extend service anymore. And I'm just going to run out of money doing this. Bankruptcy, bankruptcy, honey drink. And maybe, like, there's a reason I've taken Brotherhood, and it's just to, like, put two down to make sure I survive this boss. Not a great reason, but it is a reason, nonetheless. Yeah, this new raise tax is strange. Alright, let's see if the captain's gonna kill me today. You gonna kill me today, captain? It's, uh... Looking a little close. He's got this- he had this one shield here that just fucking bodied for him. Did you see that guy? Holy shit. That dude actually just tore it up for the captain. What the hell? He took so many shots. Uh, and now the classic problem. Look, look, both of our sides have lost a little bit of uh, juice. Did I upgrade, please? Yes, okay. Both of our sides lost a little bit of juice. Uh, this side lost his front line, left side lost his back line. We will see if we are able to hold from this position long enough to get our economy rolling with livestock. I think we should be able to. Should. Should be able to. Get a laborer in here as well when I, when I can. No upgrade on Overseer kind of sucks, but we'll be able to play so much... Uh, so much labor at this point that it shouldn't matter. I just need to not play Livestock. On to Gather. Because yeah, look at how many Livestocks we can get out here now. Now, we, we Livestock Gather... For 13 seconds, and then we play our units, essentially, is going to be the plan here. Thank god I picked up this restaurant. When I picked up the restaurant, I was like, I don't know if this is worth it. It was worth it. And you can see the damage output numbers that we're looking at here are pretty high. Oh my god, I'm getting a phone call again. I just, I don't understand. This, this number calls me, like, every day now. You would think I would pick up, but... Because of uh, circumstances, those circumstances being that no one can ever hear me when I answer the phone for whatever reason, I do not want to answer the phone. And, I don't know, they never leave a voicemail. They just, every day, they call me. What do they want? I don't know. Maybe one day I'll pick up that phone and just go, hello. It's very strange though, it's the same, it's the same number. Like, every single day? I, I'm gonna actually look at my call log. 
Not right now, of course, because I'm in the middle of something, but down the line, look at my call log and figure out, like, how often are they calling me? It's very strange. It's not a number that I would recognize. They're from, uh, like, I don't even know where. Area code, I don't even know. It's just very odd. Maybe it's one of you guys. If it is, hey, stop calling me. What the hell? I'm recording Metropolis. Come on, dude. We are... we're stable now, I would say. I would argue that this run has stabilized. More or less. The laborers actually should just hold it on the left side here. I think. I think they just hold it. Pretty sure they just handle it for me. I'm gonna play some guards over here anyway. It doesn't hurt. It doesn't matter. The thing is, I love I love waves 20 through 30 on the coast, because you never have that, oh, my units are just getting strung along situation. Hmm. I could just, like, grab Commission Vault and use that to upgrade. What would I even up I'd be upgrading my three units. It's not terrible. Not really worth it, though. Not to be cocky, but I think this run is pretty over. If I'm, I'm just going to go ahead and we're going to pay for... 10 Overseers, probably. Just pay to redraw out enough Overseers. This side needs it a little more than the left side, but still. We'll do it on either side. Go up to like 15-5, and then 15-5 in the other direction on the other side. I need to just make sure that I leave enough space for live stocking. But like, this army should hold, right? 15 guards, 5 laborers, 10 overseers should be plenty. They should more or less kill everything. Right? Do they kill everything? Yeah, they're getting like 55s and 60s of attack. Only, only real thing to look out for. Did I lose some laborers there? I sure did. Because boss AoE attack can still do it to you. Okay. They'll be, like, they'll, they'll get healed from the drugstore slowly. And we can also... I'm gonna upgrade a laborer, I guess? I don't know, it doesn't really matter what I upgrade. It just, I, oh, I can upgrade everything. That's right. We have two upgrades here. I always forget this upgrade hits me. Like, the, the, the Wave 23 event, I'm probably the most likely to just forget exists. And I like this. Go up to five, and then we go to the other side here. And you get, you get it. Five more overseers to play. And I'll go up to 15 laborers on this side. These laborers are pretty beefy, though. I have to imagine, because they've been... they just kind of been chilling over here while we've been doing this. Gather. Livestock gather again. It's just... it's kind of odd. It's all kind of odd, though. I don't want to play any more laborers right now. In fact, I don't want to play any more units at all right now. I just want to chill. Right. This is about as much livestock gathering as we can do. So we will. Call it good there. This one, it required like... At the end of these runs, now I start to look back and be like, Okay, how much focus did this run require out of me? This one required a little bit, right? Enough to make sure that I didn't die after the Wave 20 incident. I remembered the livestock gather infinite. Which is pretty crucial to a run like this. About as late as I possibly could have. Should have upgraded Gather a little sooner, but it is what it is. Get five more. From this position, though, it's hard to lose, right? This is the, the Leader Plus Merchant version of Steel. Oh yeah, Accusations. This is a super, super weird one. Right? I love the coast-specific events. Cause the, the, they only show up in waves 20 and beyond. And they just, like, are so strange, right? There is no other way in the game to get this trick card, and it's so fun. 50% chance you get a random disturb card and a 50% chance that you get any skill you want. And I've, like, never lost the skills. I've actually just never lost because I'm too good. That's the thing is, I'm just, I'm too good at this game. I win every 50-50 because I'm incredible. I don't want any of these, mind you, but it's still fun to do it. <laughs> like, there is not a skill I need. But 
but it's fun to do those anyway. <laughs> That's all. I just like doing the tricks. Just do the coin flip. I want to lose it once. I've never lost it. I want to see what the disturbed cards are. I want to see if it can give you like any disturbed card. Like it can maybe it can give you a plague card, which would be kind of wacky. Yeah, look at their attack numbers there in like the set plus 70s. 70, 80. Yeah. They do, as I pointed out, right, because of the because of the changes to the guard's attack speed, the coast enemies now get that one attack in when they spawn before they die. That used to not be the case. Bit of a longer episode, isn't it? I shouldn't remove anything. If I wanted to be super cocky, I could remove... Uh, <laughs> I could just try to remove every card, but I've had that almost kill me. So, we won't be super cocky. Because these, these waves in particular, against this boss, if she gets her sing off, which she didn't because she died too quickly. If she does get her sing off, though, she stuns me and you can get into some trouble. Deadline. I'd love to raise tax deadline and have it work out, but deadline's too expensive. I kind of feel like Deadline should just have its rarity reduced. I don't know. Maybe it's okay as it is and I just, uh, I'm just missing it. Maybe I need to play with it a little more. My initial, my initial, uh, take on it though was that it was not very good. Recorder? It doesn't really matter what I take at this point, I'm just gonna fire off a few waves here and there. 275, yeah. This is a run that didn't get out of control in money. I feel like Leader Plus often has it where you just end up like way, way strong on the money front. This one did not. It's just like it's gonna be fine, right? We have plenty of we have enough money to handle any disaster. But it isn't just like a hey, I have ten a hundred thousand gold sort of situation. Doesn't seem like it is anyway. I mean, it won't be, right? This is- the Livestock Gather is more strength just because of Overseer than it is anything else. Then... I'm, I'm not gonna go past the 10, 15, 10 that I'm setting out here. I don't feel like it. So which boss is it? It is the- the Crab Boss, right? The Crab Boss, very strange boss. He's a boss that I feel like I should fight on Nightmare Mode at least once, just to see what the lasting impact of those Mushrooms he plants are. Because, like, he knocks out buildings. It seems like the coast is a lot of building destruction, isn't it? it barrels drop in on your colony for to, for, to kill buildings and your guards. Uh, captain shoots buildings. First mate shoots buildings. The crab generates mushrooms that kills buildings. Good thing I turned it down, by the way, because do you hear these loud-ass thunks coming out of our, uh, our labors? <laughs> like, imagine those at full volume, right? Occasionally they do not get their hidden, so it's like if they spawn far enough back, they won't get sniped. Plus one treasure box per wave, remove a random military card. Sure. I've never taken the pirates. Pie, pie rats life. Get pie rat. It's a... Uh, if they offer me two removals, I can almost uh, remove every card in my deck. I'll just have Livestock Gather be my entire deck. That'll be fun. Actually, I just need one removal out of these two boxes, right? So we get one here for guards, and I think the other one comes in the middle? Hey, where's my other treasure chest? Oh, I think they sail up with it. Yeah, they do. They do, in fact, sail up with it as if it were a... Uh... A, a... what is that card called? What is that card called? Why can't I think of the name of it? Salvage. That is salvage I am thinking of. Hey, come get me, you crab bitch. I ended up at 12k. Livestock gather. Livestock gather. Hey, check this one. I'm gonna do a little freestyle here, so we're gonna go livestock and then deal. And then gather livestock. Uh oh. Wait, I've, re I've reversed the order. Oh, wait, we won. <laughs> Alright, we got there. Hell yeah. It was a little shaky. I wasn't 100% on that one, I'll say. But we got there, we got there. Hey, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed, leave me a like. Subscribe if you want to see more. I will see you in the next one. Have a good one.